So here's the Asus Spyro Revo 3700 and like the previous generation Asus Spyro Revos, it is uh, a little uh, annoying to upgrade. It's not as nice as the Zotac Nettops, which you don't even need a screwdriver to access and upgrade the parts. But yeah, it's just a little tricky and uh, I'll show you how to do that. First, underneath where the stand is, there's a screw that uh, should be here. Depending on the region, you might have a warranty seal there. As you can see, my warranty seal is now uh, my warranty is now void because of that. Thanks, Hisa. Anyway, this is the most difficult part. Once you get to the inside, it's pretty easy. But now we have to pry apart the top part here. So we can start. If we have a look directly above the screw, there's a little kind of open in there and we can just start prying that apart. I'm just going to use an old uh, plastic card here. You want to use something soft so you don't damage it. So what you have to do is just get something in there. I've already taken that apart once so it should come apart pretty easily already. You just have to get something in there. Okay, I'm going to have to take this off camera to be able to do this properly, but just get something in there, like so, and then you can run that across to just uh, get it loose. And it should be uh, loose there. I'm not sure if you can see it. But once you get one side, once you get one side done, you can pretty much use your hand and pry the whole thing off. Okay, so I've already taken that apart once, so it won't be that straightforward for you. You have to do a little bit more prying around the edges there, but that's how you access the insides. So here's a look inside the Asus by Revo D52, and it's pretty much identical to the last generation Asus by 3600. Still got the 2.5 inch SATA hard drive there, and it's still attached from the bottom so if you want to take the hard drive out you have to take everything out got the Wi-Fi here there's the uh, processor behind the fan there and that's removable everything's removable we've got the same two RAM slots there DDR3 RAM the only difference that I can see is that they've removed the eSATA port from the front here which is now just blocked out with a uh, piece of uh, plastic there so that's pretty much it on the inside uh, I'll show you how to take everything out because um, that's vital if you want to get to the hard drive so let's do that right now So that's the uh, motherboard out. Once you've removed the uh, USB header there, that's the uh, flap that covers the USB port. Four screws, once you take those out. The antennas for the wireless card, and that's pretty much it. You can, it should come straight off without any effort. Then on the back, you can unscrew those four screws holding down the hard drive. And that's pretty much it. That's how you upgrade the Acer Spyrevo AR3700.